Oakley Golf Course. This is Grayson. Hi, good morning. I was actually just calling to see if your range was open this morning. Well, our range is open this morning. It is. Perfect. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. Have a nice day. You too. Bye. It's time to get started. What is up? Welcome to my channel. I mean, I guess at this point, I don't even know who I'm talking to, probably myself, which is kind of the point. Um, this is the road to scratch. This is going to be a documentation of my journey to attempt to become a scratch golfer. It's been a lifelong goal. I want to say dream really more than anything goal. We'll see if it ever happens. Definitely a lifelong dream of mine to become a scratch golfer. Um, I've had many opportunities to pursue this and every step of the way I've most of the time made choices where it's, you know, I've gotten away from the game of golf and at times even stopped playing altogether for like two or three years. So uh, when I say my journey, this is like the time I'm gonna really put in the work and actually just see if I can get this done. I'd love to, like I said, it's my lifelong journey dream to get it and I'm gonna document every step of this and just see how long it takes for me to become a scratch golfer. Um, it's probably been upwards of 20 years that I've attempted to do this and as I just said, it's, um, <laughs> it's you know, one, one, one thing or another got in the way. Life, life happens, um, I didn't dedicate time to it, I didn't take opportunities when I had them and then I didn't have opportunities um, and grew up. <laughs> uh, you guys can't tell I'm, I'm not like most of the YouTubers out here. Well, I mean, again, I'm probably talking to myself, but uh, I'm not a young guy and um, I should probably get this. If I'm going to do it, I better do it sooner than later um, before I can't. And that is, that's going to be the fun part. I think this journey is going to be fun. It, I'm not saying it's going to happen. Um, I'm trying to be realistic here. Uh, my, I guess my quick history on golf is, um, when I was a kid, my dad put my brother and I in some lessons and we did some little uh, group lessons as kids, um, did a few group tournament kind of things. Um, by the time I was 10, I was pretty much, you know, from like eight to 10 is probably when we did it. And when I was like 10, maybe even 11 years old, I hated golf, wanted nothing to do with it. Um, and then oddly enough, when I was in high school, I was playing soccer and some other sports and uh, a really good friend of mine decided he wanted to play a sport. He was going to go out for the golf team. And I, at the time, I was like, that's lame. That sounds stupid. Why would you do that? Golf's stupid. Um, that's kind of like a nerdy sport, whatever. And he wanted to try and see if he could get a letter because he wasn't really that great at other sports, other than the hockey. He was a really good hockey player, but we didn't have a hockey team at our school. Uh, so <laughs> he went out for the golf team and convinced me to go out for the golf team as well. And I hadn't really played golf in years. Um, and somehow we both made the team. I don't think we were very good at the time, meaning us and the team. There was one really good player. He was probably pretty close to a scratch golfer. Um, but when I started playing with him, he kind of got me more motivated and all of a sudden it became fun again. And so I played th the rest of my high school days from my sophomore year to my senior year. I, I played on the golf team and really enjoyed it for the most part. Um, then went off to college no scholarships, none of those crazy great stories. I just went off to college and was going to do the college thing and uh, met a really good friend of mine that's still a great friend of mine who's ironically a PGA professional. And he loved golf at the time, obviously, too. And um, got, you know, we, set, we kept playing together and I actually picked up a lot of pointers and he kind of helped me along the way because he was a much better golfer than I was at the time. And uh, our sophomore year of college, we ended up uh, renting this town home that was right on the golf course. It was on like the, I'm trying to remember, like maybe the third or fourth hole. So we would sneak out every evening and just hop on and play a few holes. And actually, a couple of times, I think we got a hole 18 in before um, anyone even noticed we were on the course. So for a couple of years there, I was playing a lot of golf again. And then a lot of things changed. Finished college, stopped playing golf. Um, I mean, I'd play here and there. My dad and my brother play. Uh, my dad's always been into golf and he obviously he was the one that got me into it but um you know he'd invite us to go play like one round a summer and um got to do that there was something in between when i was in college where 
my dad took me when I was 20 over to Scotland and we played Scotland and England. We played all the uh, British Open circuits, which was absolutely one of the most amazing things that I've ever got to do. And I still to this day remember every hole, every shot, um, the whole thing. And that was wonderful. And so I'm actually gearing up with another friend of mine to uh, go back in maybe a year and a half, two years. We'll see how everything plays out. And we're gonna have another Scotland England golf trip, and I'm going to bring my PGA professional friend along with us, hopefully. And uh, at that point, my son will be able to come with me too. So again, I'm not I'm not a young guy. And my son, speaking of him, is the one that got me back into golf for real for the for the permanent future. Uh, last summer, he decided he wanted to learn how to play golf, and I started taking him out to the golf course. I gave him my old set of clubs, and he was he took to it very naturally. It was actually really cool to watch and. I kind of was working with him on a swing. Not much I really had to do because again, he's, he's pretty natural at it and he's gonna be great if he continues. Um, but I'm standing the whole time thinking, well, if I'm here helping him, why am I not you know, practicing my, and working on my own game? So bam, there it goes. And then uh, beginning last summer, I go and I decide to get, for the first time ever, custom fit clubs. The tailor-made uh, P770s and I love them. And it's been, uh, it's been upwards ever since for this whole thing. So with all that being said, it's kind of rambling. This is the documentation of my road to becoming a scratch golfer. Um, this video is the first real one I've put out. And again, probably talking to myself, but it is currently 28 degrees outside. Um, we're expecting six to 14 inches of snow by tonight. It's a couple days before Halloween. And although it's been, here, I'll show, you, I'll show you, you can see that. There's the current temperature. It's gonna be cold, but the range is open. Um, it's been a very warm October, seasonally, unseasonally warm. And even as a few days ago, it was in the 60s. So that's pretty unseasonable for Colorado, which is where I'm at. And uh, yeah, so I'm picking the wrong time probably to start this grind, but I'm gonna grind all winter long. As long as the course is open, the range is open, I'm gonna be out there working on my game. Uh, I'm gonna get a practice net and a mat to put in the garage so I can work on my swing when it is snowing outside and the, and the courses are closed and uh, there's gonna be no excuses. So this is it guys. I say guys, I hate saying guys, whatever. Um, so this is it. Hopefully uh, by the end of this journey, a lot more people are watching and hopefully I'm inspiring more people to get out there and, and I don't know, reach goals in, in your golf game. This is gonna be mine and I really hope to attain it. So let's get out there and I'm um, just looking at uh, the range and it's starting to get windy too. So I better hurry. All right, let's get out there and hit some. Okay, I just came to realize my camera shut off at one point. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know if I got any three woods off the deck or not, but we're gonna go to the tee because it's really cold. better. See, I got work to do on that. Uh oh, I lost my tee. Here it is. All right. Yeah, balls are not flying far today. Okay, a few more.
right now this is probably the worst club in my bag so it needs the most work but I think overall just everything that I'm standing in a hole again already one more. <sighs> well, I was dying out of the sky. Work on some wedges and some controlled irons here. Jeez, you see that ball is dial is weird. The ones that don't have dimples aren't moving. Uh-oh. Come on. The pure ones are starting to hurt. Okay, I'm gonna work on a slight pause. Let's get a slight pause going. See if I can do it. For me, that was a pause. That's kind of scary. All right, let's tr let's try a longer one. I kind of forgot to pause there, huh? not pretty that's the journeys for Seven. I'll go back to the wedges. Less of a hook. <sighs> All 
All right, a couple more of these, just three quarters, seven hours, I'm gonna go back to the wedge. I almost paused there. <laughs> Let's go over that blue flag again. Pulled it. Okay. It's getting cold. So I shot the red flag. It's right over here. It's 120, which typically for me is like a just over half a gap wedge uh, but today as cold as it is with the wind I'm not sure I can even get it there we'll see I'm gonna have just really I'm not gonna go after I'm just gonna make some swings some smooth swings work on tempo and just take it at the red flag got my gap which is my 50 degree picking up. Woo! Hit that little fin. Pulled it. Pin high, pulled it. actually getting there surprisingly <sighs> haven't hit a fantastic one yet up into the wind. <sighs> Burr. All right, let's let's have a little fun here. Take a five iron. See if I can't hit some low ones, like really low ones. How's that blue flag? can barely feel the club. Come on. Mm. 
Uh, all right. Okay. I always like to end with wedge shots of some sort that are short. Because again, the driver and my inside uh, like 90 yards, inside 80 yards really, is my weakest spots. That's the stuff where I don't score. That's where I lose shots. And so I like to end my sessions by working on, once I get past the driver, working on the, the wedges. So I'm gonna take it out of that black flag, just a 60 degree and just, just try and land them on the green. Again, that wind's blowing pretty good, so. That was less than pretty. <laughs> little tuggy. All right, I'm trying to flight these a little bit. Over, that's surprising. All right, last one, money makers. Cannot feel my hands at all. And that's gonna be the result. Short right. Well, we got work to do. All right, session one in the books, frozen. I'm gonna go warm up. Okay, session one in the books, video one in the books. Uh, my hands are numb, I'll be honest. Uh, I'm a cold weather guy, I do like the cold weather, but uh, that's, a, that's a different breed when you're out there hitting golf balls and it's 25 degrees. It might even be colder than that now, I don't know, the temperature definitely dropped. It's uh, hard for me to talk. <laughs> and those last few wedges were, uh, even though it's hitting them pretty decent, I couldn't really feel my hands. So, glad I'm out here. Like I said, I'm gonna be working all winter. So, uh, it's been great talking to myself. I'm gonna go watch this video and see what I need to work on and start this journey. So, I'm really excited. If you somehow miraculously found this channel in the ethers of your deep, deep, deep searches on uh, YouTube golf, uh, I would be greatly appreciative if you would subscribe, like the video, make comments, whatever you wanna do. Um, I'd like to grow the channel. That is the goal as well, is, is hopefully people can follow along with me. But uh, as of right now, I'm probably talking to myself, and that's okay. So I'm going to keep working. All right, till the next one. I'm going to go warm up.